as it turns out, they survived the crash. Who would have guessed? It's not like we've never seen this cutscene before. Uh, hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank: Future Tools of the Destructionation. Um, this is challenge mode, as you may or may not see. Uh, well, you, you probably don't see, but the fact that I started with a weapon might have been a hint. I don't know. Um, so this is challenge mode. You keep all your weapons from, you know, beforehand, and you keep all of your treasure mappers and box breakers and armor magnetizers and the O2 mask. Everybody loves the O2 mask, right? Right? Pretty sure they do. But oh no, we're still missing a weapon. Well, we'll get to that shortly. Um, differences in challenge mode are pretty much the same as you might expect. I'm just kind of looking through here. Basically, what's going to happen, uh, the enemies are going to be tougher. Uh, that is to be expected, and uh, you're going to want to go ahead and just kill the guys. The enemies are also going to be more difficult to deal with. As you can see, these guys are like the beginning of the game kind of difficulty enemies, and they're still taking a little bit to kill. Well, at least for the bees, but wow, I didn't even see you there. You may also notice in the upper right next to my bolts, I have like a little bolt plier going on there. That's right. I said bolt plier. What are you going to do about it? Uh, nothing, because you can't. These guys are taking a while to kill, though. Um, so yeah, enemies are tougher, and, you know, that's that's basically it, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but there's a little bit more, which I shall be getting to momentarily. Um, if you haven't upgraded all of your weapons fully, you could probably do this before you know, actually starting challenge mode. Uh, if not, I mean, the enemies should level them up fairly quickly, at least in this beginning part. So I'm going to try to do that, but I make no promises, so uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see you a bit later in the game. Worth noting, you should probably try not to get hit, because if you're familiar with challenge mode, getting hit means your bolt applier goes back down to zero. This is not something you want, so uh, don't do that. The more enemies you kill, the higher it goes up, and you're going to need to kill more and more enemies to actually increase it. I, I didn't really say that right away, so I figure I might as well mention it. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I managed to pause it, like, right as they leveled up. The negotiation powers are finally at maximum! It's kind of hard to tell in this particular part, because I'm about to blow up, but... Um, I guess once I'm done falling in bullet time, uh, things will be different. <laughs> we just had to invade during rush hour. I don't think you can even get damage in this part. Cause yeah, I'll just get hit by a car and it, it did nothing. I know this is supposed to be like a tutorial thing, but still, like, come on. <laughs> You'd think it would at least do damage. Oh man, we're suddenly here. For reasons. So, the Judicator. It shoots three missiles instead of just one. Pretty nifty for taking out waves of enemies, or just one if you want. That's pretty much that. <laughs> uh, onward! Worth noting, any rare titanium you pick up will also be multiplied. Keep this in mind if you're trying to get lots of rare titanium to completely upgrade your weapons if you haven't done so already, like what I have not. <laughs> Using a magnet on these guys seems like overkill. <laughs> and yet, ironically, it's not. Oh man, the Not Buzz Blades finally leveled up to V4. Now we're getting places. Such as me almost dying, I now notice. I think it's time for a leech bomb. Thanks, friends! <laughs> Didn't think I'd have to use a leech bomb on level 1, but whatever. Challenge mode is pretty great. There's also health right here. Whatever. Now, these uh, little boxes here that give you multipliers before, they still do. They just multiply your multiplier. Uh... At least I thought they did. They might not. I don't exactly know how that all works. I'm assuming it just multiplies your multiplier. It just didn't for some reason. Probably because it was only two. I don't actually know if it just doesn't display it or not. It's entirely possible it just doesn't display the change. I, it, I don't know. Either way, 
We got this up to V5 too. All right, what does that do? Dual flame jets of tomorrow. Those are always fun. But now it's time to fight this boss again. He was very difficult the first time. I mean, there was that one time where he cheap killed me, but we don't talk about that. So, you know. <laughs> give me a second to kill this fool with magnets that don't actually do anything. Well, darn! Considering it's so close to leveling up, that's very disappointing. Whoa! That was a strategy that I did on purpose. <laughs> I'm sinking into the ground! Why did that happen? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, sure. You know, something I've never really tried before is actually sending out multiple nano swarmers. Turns out you can have three of them at once. Like, the delay on them is huge, but, like, it apparently isn't, like, limited to just one. I've never really tried putting out more than one, really. Oh, well, it is what it is. Is this gonna upgrade it? I darn well hope so. There's so many bees! Give me your Leviathan soul. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't upgrade it at all. <laughs> what the heck, man? That's not even fair. <laughs> Whatever. See you later when things happen. Actually, things are about to happen, so I don't know why I would be cutting away, because uh, I'll actually have access to a shop. <laughs> It'll be great. I don't care about this stinky, smelly cutscene. Right, Kabalia, look, I destroyed all of your citizens once. I can do it again. I don't care about Smuggle Man right now. I mean, I do, but I don't. All right, come on now, seriously. Attention. Just go to this Citizens shop Kabbalah. already. The I don't care. All right, so the you shop is a little different. A new top secret Omega series. They're upgraded versions of your current weapons, modified to do maximum damage to enemies. In case you, you know, didn't see this coming, uh, you can buy the Omega versions of all of your weapons, but only if you've gotten them to V5. Uh, obviously, they're ludicrously expensive, but because of challenge mode and whatnot, it shouldn't be too hard to come by. Uh, these upgrade bonuses are, you know, still the same. I'm going to go ahead and max them out because I already have, like, freaking tons of rare titanium, you know. I don't know why you're giving me this explanation again, because, um, it, it's not, it's the same as it was previously, so, uh, you know, it's not a thing exactly. Yeah, it's bada bing, boom, bada bing, boom, boom, bada bing. Okay. See, I have completed everything, finally. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. Uh, you're gonna need lots of bolts in order to get all of the stuff, but most importantly, you're probably still wondering... Where's the last weapon at? I don't know where it is. I guess we'll never know. I just blew up that robot on accident. Oh, well. He'll never know either. <laughs> so, fun thing about the smuggler, uh, Leviathan souls get traded in for even more money. Although, as was pointed out to me uh, when I was playing through the main game, it's probably better to save them because he'll pay more later for them once you get to, uh, you know, the place. So, that's worth knowing. Uh, there is something else worth oh, noting. Oh, hey, you slick. The Golden Groovatron is the crown jewel of the Grummelnet defense arsenal. Every time you use one, a new one will respawn in your inventory. That's right, a lifetime supply of funk. Yours for a reasonable monetary contribution. What do you say? You interested? Now, here's the thing. It costs two million raritanium. <laughs> but it is indeed worth it, obviously. Infinite Groovatrons you would be very deal. useful. Uh, all your gadgets are still present, by the way. Um, yeah, so that's a thing. Also, I can't go over there, and I don't really care about the consumer bots. They're, they're, they're a butt. This is the part where I go in here and I do this part, and then I'll see you later, I guess, because there's not a whole lot I can explain until certain things are available, so, you know, whatever. Well, there go the bees, finally upgrading to V4.
Took him long enough. Ratchet, we should see that smuggler about the ride he promised. Well, what would be another Ratchet and Clank video without more LOL box physics? <laughs> You'd think having the box breaker would kind of prevent that, given I'm destroying a whole bunch of boxes in a certain radius, but apparently not. <laughs> Now, I do believe, yes, there's a new thing of armor available to you um, that might be useful once you have enough bolts. You may even want to go ahead and get this first just so you can survive a little better because the enemies do, like, rather huge amounts of damage at least later in the game. So, not that that's new to challenge mode, but, you know, details. Um, regurgh, I leveled up the bees. Finally, what do they do now? Nothing different, except when I throw one out and we can see them next to each other, because that's weird. Toxic swarmers. I'm pretty sure just make the enemies poisoned as well as doing damage to them. I don't know if it'll do any more damage to it with the poison or anything. Also, I have no other weapons I can use to kill this thing right now that I can actually still level up. Even though the magnet launcher is like really close and not buzz blades are like not that close, so it's just alpha cannon. I don't know. Everybody loves alpha cannon. I didn't use it that much. Or I could use the judicator. Everybody loves adjudicator. Even though we've just met, practically. <laughs> it's kind of a thing that can happen. Alright, I leveled up. If I didn't level up, bad things would have happened to me. I probably would have died, even though I haven't gotten hit since I leveled up, so probably not. Uh, let's go get dumped out of a, a freaking flying space car by Smuggle Duggle. I love that guy. Attention Best citizens friends of bro. Kabalia. Today is Tachyon. Oh, and there's the magnet finally reaching V5. Uh, the magnet cannon. Uh, once it, it's, it's, it's done shocking its friend, It'll explode into tons of little uh, bomby ball things. It's pretty wonderful, but we've got one last weapon to upgrade, so you know, you know the one. Finally upgraded the buzz blades to the shredder claws. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is. They might like poison or something. I, I don't actually... You know what? Let me go ahead and see. I want to see what they do. Well, let's see. The buzz blades are far too dangerous to be upgradable, but we ultimately let the customer decide. The shredder claws. Slow moving text that I can't freaking scroll faster. It's always good. I could have sworn there was a way to scroll it faster, but apparently not. Hold on, I, I will I will get this. This is the thing, like, every button I push takes me out of this menu or something. Flumous Energy. Got it. Shockwave on their third strike. Got it. And... Scattering. Okay, so what? It just has knockback? Alright, well... <laughs> whatever, I suppose. Anyway, now that I've finally gotten everything up to V5, we can go ahead and just discuss, uh, you know, uh, buying weapons here. Um, when you buy the weapon, um, incinerator's probably a, a good one. Or I could get the shutter claws I upgraded. Basically, each of these upgrades is less of a functional upgrade, more of a just straight up, let it do more damage kind of upgrade. So, like, let's buy this thing. Um, you might notice it is now V6. I believe it goes all the way up to V10. Correct me if I'm wrong, future self. Um... But yes, uh, it'll go all the way up to that, doing more damage and such. So, you know, want to do more damage to these challenge mode dudes? That's your chance right there to do it! So, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. It's not going to do super great on these shield guys, unless I do some trickery of my own. 
Oh no! Now you're on fire suddenly. Sure sucks to be you. Uh, and obviously, you know, upgrades are pretty important for uh, making sure you uh, actually can kill stuff future later times. Just saying. It's a lot of bolts, I'm aware. Ah, uh, see, leveling up the weapons to V7 and onward is just gonna increase the power so much more, so, you know. I figured that might be obvious, but I might as well point it out anyway. Also, worth mentioning, since there's a lot of raritanium in the clank section, you might want to go ahead and, uh, raise up that bolt applier. If I haven't mentioned it yet, it goes up all the way to times 20, so, um, see if you can't go super long without getting hit. It's worth it. Trust me. What exactly am I seeing here? Um, okay. <laughs> well, I guess since I'm just sitting here running around collecting all the flight components, not really doing a whole lot, and since I also got hit and ruined my multiplier thing anyway, figure might be a good enough time to go over some of the extras. Uh, getting a certain amount of skill points, you, you might have noticed you know, each one's worth varying amounts of points. Most of them are 10. Uh, some of the more general ones are worth more than 10. I, I didn't realize it was mostly just 10s, but yeah, there's like a few 20s and 40s at the, in the general. Uh, yes, I'm aware I don't have all the skill points, but I can't get them all just yet anyway. Uh, having enough skill points allows you to unlock various things, such as big head mode. Uh, you can make them big, huge, or even tiny, which is completely against, uh, you know, various things. Oh man, Ratchet, your head is huge! But it, because it's lock strafe mode, it's kind of hard to, to see that, I suppose. Um, where's... it's in control mode. Third person, alright. Yeah, Ratchet, your head is big! Yay, that's great! Uh, and then obviously, that's the skill points, I want the cheat cheats. You can have them huge! <laughs> I think that says it all. I believe it affects all the other characters too, not just Ratchet, and that's, you know, fitting. It doesn't affect Clank for some reason, I suppose that'd just be weird. Um, you can make the heads of the enemies big and huge. Let's just cut to the... oops. Why did it say unlocked? That's weird. <laughs> um, I think I found a random glitch. Uh, you all saw that, right? It said unlocked for some reason. I don't One know what Korkowski. that was. A... Oh. <laughs> that was weird. I think because I have like help messages turned off or something. Let me turn lock strafe back on because I just realized it's off and that's going to throw me completely into a loop of some sort. Um, but you kind of get the idea of all the biggie head things. Uh, tools of production. Oh yeah, there's like random little snippets that will show up various points throughout the game of like developer commentary sort of things. Uh, environment, concept art. A lot of this stuff will show up in the main menu, I believe, because it doesn't show up here. Wrench replacement. You can replace it with a cutlass, an axe, a club, a sword, or a wrench, of all things. That's just weird. That is just weird. Um, oop, I'm on the razor claws for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not razor claws. What am I talking about? They're, uh, they're, they're, they're um, shredder claws, right. Okay. <laughs> Now that that joke is out of the way, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, wrench replacement. See, it's a sword. It is a sword, after all. And then, uh, let's, well, I might as well see what all of them are. What is the axe? It's an axe! Alright, it's great. Uh, and then you can go ahead and also have, what was the other thing, a club? Cool! I can swing a club around. That guy didn't even know what hit him. It was a club, by the way, in case you forgot. Uh, and then an axe. We already saw the axe. Why did I go to the axe again? I don't even know. I did, it's, uh, oh, there's a cutlass and a sword. Oh, there's, is there a difference, really? I mean, I, I guess it's shaped a little differently, but that's about it. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, James the Galactic Defender. Oh, yeah, you can change what Mr. Zircon says, I suppose. I never really... This is one of those that's weird to use. Oh. You don't change what he says, but you change his appearance, all right! <laughs> um, that's a little awkward. I was expecting a voice change, not that. Oh, well. I mean, unless you do say something different. I guess we'll never know, because I'm eating a thing. Yeah, he's not even saying anything, actually. Alright, well, that's kind of a dumb little cheat. I mean, it, it was funny at first, but it doesn't really... It's not as funny, as I, I guess. Levels are mirrored, does exactly what you think it does. <laughs> Let's see. What other thingy bobbers are in here? There's a whole lot of not stuff. Now, you may also notice that I am 20 skill points short of getting the last one. I wonder what that could be, or why I'm that short. Maybe I should get more skill points. I don't know. Uh, we can look at all of these things. Everybody likes these things. Look, there's a bunch of birds here. There's that guy. I love that guy. And there's those guys. I love those guys. I don't know who those are. Actually, those might be the, the Grummelnet dudes or something. I'm not sure. And so might those be. They all have numbers on them. Maybe they were all meant to do, like, different things. I don't know. That's, that's interesting, actually. Well, number six seems to be the guy we usually see, actually. I don't know. Oh, wait, no. He, it's number two? Okay. Hey, Smuggle Double, you used to be fat. <laughs> Ratchet, you used to look weird. Uh, Ratchet, you used to look double weird. And uh, I think those are concept arts for Kronk and or Zephyr. It looks like both, really. But the, the color scheme is weird. All right, penguins. I love penguins. And the plumber. He's there, too. And Rusty Pete. He's there, too. And Captain's Lag. He's that one guy that we killed, also. Lots of different variations of the same face. It's pretty great. Oh no, he's going to attack us. Oh no, he's going to drink some grog and breathe fire on us. Oh no, Captain Slag again. They must have really liked Captain Slag. Oh no! Tachyon has a puppy that may be dead or something. That's sad. <laughs> Whoa, are these like concept arts for Tachyon? That's... Some of them are weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I like what they did finally, the, the final version. Oh, there's Talwin. She looks more human, less alien in those, but that, okay. Hey, Zony, how are you doing today? Oh, man, the Zony used to look kind of weird looking. That's the thing. Hey, there's that trap chest guy. Everyone loves him. There's that skiv I almost fell off of, and there's a pirate ship, and there's another pirate ship, and there's more pirate ships, and there's the pirate disguise, and there's more pirates. Everybody loves pirates, right? The dancing guy! He has concept art, too. <laughs> yeah. And that guy. Those things, yeah. Oh, Leviathans. Leviathans are fun. That guy's going to eat the other guy. Way to go. Oh, no, the Bombot things. And the jelly-eating guys. And uh, whatever these are. Man, there is a lot more in here than I thought there'd be. Uh, Ratchet's jumping on a bunch of squids. Uh, are these the squids in the Hall of Knowledge? That's just weird. Ah, uh, there's Pikachu's concept art! Kinda weird looking. Kinda weird looking. Oh man, the grabby claws from the prison! And those things that I've been beating up recently. With fire. And the giant dinosaur guys. And those things. And the clapping robot. He gives you a round of applause. I, applause, sorry. Um, and uh, there's that thing. And that thing. And those guys, and that thing. I don't even entirely know who that is. Well, he must have been concept for the Kragmites, I guess. I don't know. They have weird internal head things, or that's just skin design, or whatever. Kragmites are, like, super weird looking. What the heck is with the one on the bottom? He's got, like, a thing on a leash. And the one in the upper left is naked. That's just rude and repulsive. Gosh! Oh, hey, I think we loop back to the beginning. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the environments now. Look at that environment! And that one. 
And I think that's Metropolis. And I'm pretty sure that's... I'm not really sure. Is that the place that I forget the name of with the Hall of Knowledge, but at nighttime for some reason? I don't even know, man. Some of these look pretty nifty. What, with crystals everywhere? I don't even recognize some of these, so this must be, like, early concept for various things, or something, or just... I don't know, because it's so concept art-y, it's not recognizable by me. There wasn't even an ice planet, if you don't count Creeley Comet. Certainly nothing like this. <laughs> not that I remember, at any rate. Yeah, no, I, like, legit don't recognize half of this. That might be Slag's Fleet, though. Hard to tell. That's definitely Metropolis. It sure looks like it. And that looks like that swamp planet. And that looks like a big old thing. Eh. Yeah, it's a bridge. It's probably Sargasso, if I had to guess. I don't know. It's uh, it's a big old Savannah-like place, you know? Oh, that's, that's that one city. It has to be. Oh, that's the, the lava refinery place. Yes! And that's the jungle planet that exists. Oh, there's the Ferris wheel! Let's go to the Ferris wheel! Uh, here's the, uh, ice area that existed. And there's that and this and that and that and this and that. There's not a whole lot I can say here, <laughs> because a lot of this stuff I don't even recognize, to be honest. I'm just kind of looking at it because, I don't know, it's a thing to look at. Did we loop at some point? We might have. Well, no, I don't recognize some of these now. Man, there are a lot of... Okay, no, wait, that, that had to have been the first one. All right, all right. The weapons, though, those are just explosions. Explosions aren't a weapon. Oh, hey, Plasma Beast. Haven't used that in, like, literally forever, actually. <laughs> um, oh, look, the Dimensionator comes complete with a Lombax voodoo doll. Wasn't that made by Lombaxes, though? I'm confused. <laughs> I... I think that's the bee launcher, or maybe that's the bee launcher. It's some sort of glove thing. That's all I know. Actually, wait, what was that previous one? It's like a drill. That's weird. I don't even know what that is. I don't recognize half of the weapons by just the weapons themselves. More so what they do. Like, I think that's the, the freaking fire flame thing. That's the V5 version of it. And I think it's like going through the V5s and everything. That was the disc blade gun, doom blade thing. Yeah, it's going through various things. That's explosions, and we did loop at some point. But what could be the last one? It probably has something to do with the, the thing. Anyway, uh, you can go ahead and watch all of the movies, but not absolutely all of them. I'm not going to go ahead and watch these, because there's not a whole lot to see with them. Yeah, that's just weird. Like, they don't show every single cutscene. Because, like, here's here's the one that's talking about Iris, and then it goes straight to the end credits. Oh, and then, and then well, actually, no, they're just out of order. That's weird. I don't know. Anyway, skins. Uh, you actually unlock these with all the gold bolts that we've been collecting. See? They're actually useful for something. I can be Dan Johnson if I want to. That guy was pretty cool, I assume. Uh, alright. Also, the snowman. Everybody loves the friendly neighborhood snowman. He's great. Uh, let's see. Who else can I be? Can I also be a Kragmite? Of course I can! A really weird looking one at that. He's got a little gruffy face. He's all like... I can be Rusty Pete, also. He's a good, great person to be. Everybody loves Rusty Pete. Why am I not outside where you could see things better? I don't know. It's entirely possible I could be not really paying too much attention to what I'm doing. I can also be Kronk. Everybody loves Kronk. He, he's, like, great or something. I, I don't know. He's, he's got gas. And then there's Zephyr. Zephyr is pretty all right as well. It'd probably be very confusing if I went off and, you know, talked to those guys. Also, Mustachio Furioso. You don't even know who he is. I certainly don't. <laughs> it's just, it's great. Um, so yeah, that's basically that. Um, is there anything else I really needed to look at here in the, the thingy -ma bobber place? Well, there is one thing. 
Guess not. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit when things get interesting. I guess, maybe. Something I've... Excuse you! Something I've now noticed, actually, the clank section's up there. I never noticed that before. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it, it would have to be around this general vicinity. But, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just a random little side note. Yep, sure enough, look what's down there. It's that water section. Never noticed that before, that is kind of interesting. Also, I guess Clank doesn't actually keep the, the multiplier. He just gets tons of bolts from things and whatnot, regardless. So, I guess keep that in mind. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think the uh, space battles have really been changed outside of, uh, you know, more you know, rewards for shooting stuff. So, I guess... There's not really much to say here. Hang Unless on, they Clint. do more damage, the or they'll do more shots, I guess? I don't actually know for sure. So, yeah! Uh, probably not much to mention here at all. Oh man, V8. I'm probably not going to show all these, but I wouldn't mind finding out what the max level is. Oh. Hey! It's one of these things. Developer commentary! These will show up from time to time if you have that cheat turned on. Hi, I'm Brian Matheson, the test lead on RCF. And I'm Billy Parmenter, senior tester on RCF. And we're going to talk about the Fun Not Fun report. So every week or two, the QA team gets together to talk about what's fun, what's not fun, and any suggestions we have to improve. You basically just talk about stuff that you might care about. I'm not going to sit there and listen to the whole thing, because, I mean, I don't know how long those get. They might be pretty long, I'm not entirely sure. I was kind of hoping I could get a taxi back to the beginning so that I could go get the armor because I happen to have enough money right now, but it's all right. I guess since I'm here, uh, the tournament, as it has been in past games, um, will award you much more cash prizes than it had before. So, uh, you know, that's important. Also, oh man, I finally got up to times 10. Uh, it can still go up higher than that, though, so we ain't done yet. I, I'll just... Say, I'll, 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 I'll see you in a bit, again. Because, yeah, reasons. Go, Mustachio! Uh, and then I just ran into a random shot and lost everything. It is kind of hard to actually raise... Multiplier in this game, like, cause I've gone through entire sections without getting hit already, and I, it's like, just it's gone so quick. It, I don't know. It's weird. Oh yeah, the prizes are definitely increased, <laughs> but I'll be coming back to that later, cause I'm not really concerned with it right now for you know reasons that are pretty obvious. Uh, you don't get your gadgets back when you start challenge mode, in case that wasn't obvious from the beginning, so you do have to earn those again. Charge boots excluded, because they're charge boots. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, buy this armor now. Cause why the heck not? Armor will significantly reduce the amount of damage you take in battle, sir. It will also significantly improve your fashion sense. No, you can't see Ratchet's face, and it's kind of annoying. However, this is also where the skins come in, I feel. Um, if you actually wanted to, you can go ahead and go with Mustachio Furiosa. Oh, I thought you could actually at least remove the mask with that. Wow, okay, that's actually kind of unfortunate. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't know, let's, let's be Zephyr, right? for no real reason. I've heard that if you don't have all the skill points yet, and you're trying to get some of them, apparently having skins on will mess with that for some reason, which is half the reason I didn't bother showing them until now. But, um, you know, that's right. a thing. Let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Although I wonder if he takes off his mask during cutscenes. I didn't think to check that. I guess we'll never know now. Lombax secrets are great. 
Let's go to the asteroid ring. Yeah. Oh man, goes up to V9! Yeah, I'm pretty sure the max is V10, but, you know, I wanted to figure it out. Two crates of parasitic nitro cells. Yeah, he still can't see his face in cutscenes. That's really awkward and kind of annoying, to be perfectly honest. Maybe like the pre-rendered cutscenes, but, but not the rest of them. Of course, I don't know how, which ones are pre-rendered and which ones aren't. It's hard to tell. <laughs> so, yeah. Geo laser! And here's V10! Oh, VX. I'm sorry, VX is a thing. My bad. My bad. Alright, well, I mean, I was right. It, it does go up to 10. X, rather. We're gonna switch to Roman numerals, now that we've gotten this far. But yeah, uh, V10, X, whatever you want to call it, is the, the max level you can get with the Omega weapons. So, uh, not really much of a reason to use them anymore outside of if you want to do, like, tons of damage. So, you know, that's a thing. I don't know exactly. I'm gonna go over this real quick. Um, the, uh, skill points down here at the bottom that I haven't gotten yet. Uh, this one I believe is just gotten for getting every single weapon. We'll be getting to that eventually. I'm work the next video is gonna be this, because that deserves a video all on its own, pretty much. Uh, this is for getting the last weapon. Uh, this is for upgrading them at least to V5, I'm pretty sure. And this one's just for beating challenge mode, and this one, for some reason, is for getting all of the skill points. So, if I haven't explained that yet, there's that. So... <laughs> That's kind of why I don't have all the skill points quite yet, in case you were wondering. Well, I'll be. Son, this here is part of a highly classified weapon schematic. Tell you what, you bring me the full hollow plan and I'll build you the weapon. Provided you let me keep the plans, of course. Remember this part? Remember the hollow plan we've been collecting? <laughs> Remember that thing? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna turn that in. Technically, I could have gone back to Sargasso and done this, but this would be your first opportunity entering challenge mode, is when you get to, you know, the lava refinery well, planet. I'll be. You did it. All right, amigo. Stand by while my partner and I build your new weapon. I, I doubt your parrot's gonna really help, to be fair. <laughs> Son, I present to you... The Rhino 4. Now you be careful with this here Widowmaker. She's been banned in eight galaxies. Only eight? I find that hard to believe. Global thermonuclear war! Alright, well, uh, now that that's out of the way, the uh, Rhino 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, no, the, the, the Rhino Mabob thing is rather interesting in that it starts out at V1. I mean, obviously, it would do that if you weren't in challenge mode, but let me go uh, find some test subjects that aren't innocent robots. <laughs> ah! Did that happen before? It happened again. Just random super wall jump into oblivion. Um, let me try that again. So, the Rhino 4. What does it do? It destroys everything with lasers. It's pretty great. <laughs> It'll run through ammo really quick, but even in challenge mode, it should decimate just about every enemy in the game. Uh, barring maybe bosses, it might take a little longer on those guys, because the bosses in challenge mode have like 10 times more HP or something, but yeah. Uh, I've literally I've just been sitting here playing through challenge mode just to get to this specific part. I, I've been, like, recording the whole thing since the beginning, so... Apparently the shield guys still block the rhino. That's, uh, kind of stupid, if you ask me, but, uh, you know, whatever. Nothing a little magnet won't solve. Nothing a little magnet won't solve. I don't know, I might have still been hitting their shields. It's hard to say, because it still took a little longer than I thought it would. But, uh, you know, details. Um... 
I wonder what happens, though, if I get it to V5. Let's find out. After a word from our sponsors, some other thing that's going to probably pop up before I get there. Yes, that. All right, Chief. What can we do Actually, for? speaking of the Rhino, it also has upgrade? upgrades you can apply to it with, uh, you know, the rare titanium. Of course, since I have so much, I can probably upgrade. just completely max the whole thing out at this point. It does not have a special modification as far as I know. But, uh, this will give it more ammo and damage and such, so that's kind of important for it to actually be good. You know, just figured I'd point that out, because you might not necessarily know that immediately, but, I mean, because it's challenge mode. You're more than likely just going to be like, what the heck, man? I'm just going to just gonna use the darn thing. It's probably pretty great. Uh, smuggled man, I honestly don't care about your stupid decryptor, because I'm a snowman, so... Your, no, your, your, like your thing is invalid. Time. Shut up. I don't care. I'm gonna go kill some giant dinosaur things. Souls. Remind me to oh, well, wait a minute. Are the decryptor puzzles different in challenge mode? This most certainly was not the first puzzle. Um, <laughs> that's a little, uh, surprising, to say the least. I have no idea if I'm actually doing this right, if I'm being completely honest. Actually, wait, no, I, I think this will work, assuming I get there in time. Yeah, okay, I think they changed all the puzzles for challenge mode. That's interesting, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm probably not going to bother to show all of them, but, uh, dude, that's... I didn't expect that, not going to lie. Ring challenge time! Say hello to my little friend! I think that has to do with blowing up a bunch of enemies all at once with the Rhino without letting go of the trigger. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll probably put some text on the screen to confirm or deny it. I thought it was just getting the Rhino, like, because I said it earlier. But obviously that's not the case, because I didn't get that when I got the Rhino. I, I got it right now. Your foot is slightly off the ground, sir. And now it's even more so. Good for you. Let's see how many bolts I get for turning in every single Leviathan soul to him in Sargasso. Well, That'd be... I don't know how many bolts that rare. is, but it's like double the amount I had before. Man, if only that were rare titanium, I can get that golden goobushron. Well, all the no sooner. I, I didn't mean to click that, but okay. Yep, so that's a thing. Um, onward to victory. Oh man, we finally got to V5. What's this all about? <laughs> oh man, I don't even know. Rhino 4 Extreme! Oh man, this is extreme alright. Uh, so once it reaches V5, uh, it just becomes the Rhino 4 Extreme. Nothing special, right? Nothing special. Doesn't seem to change any. Which is probably for the better, because I know a lot of previous Rhinos, they actually changed up how it functions a lot. Like, I know the one in Up Your Arsenal just became like a screen wipe of sorts, whereas it just completely changed the functionality of just aiming at tons of enemies in a quick succession. Like, it was actually more efficient as V4 than it was as V5, or at least it certainly felt like that. Because the screen wipe was so slow compared to, you know, just general power buffs. Either way, uh, once it reaches V5, it's not going to gain any more experience until... Until you decide to go and buy it. The Omega Rhino Forever costs five freaking million bolts. No, I'm sorry. Fifty freaking million bolts. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of why I haven't been spending a whole lot. Because uh, this thing is pretty pricey. It's just going to keep going up in damage. It's not entirely necessary, given it's... At V5, it'll destroy a lot of stuff in challenge mode. So, 
that's a thing. Uh, I probably won't really show it off because it doesn't change any. As far as I'm aware, if it does, I'll let you know. But other than that, you know, it's just an upgraded version of the same thing. Just, you know, more damage. If I, I wasn't clear. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just about the last thing I can really show. Um, the next video is going to depict the um, Everybody Dance Now skill point. So that's going to be fun. If I missed anything, I'll probably put it in that video. So I'm going to go ahead and look that up and figure it out. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm just going to switch back to Ratchet because I looked silly as anybody but Ratchet. <laughs> well, actually, Ratchet looks silly in this armor too. I know what'll lighten up the mood. Let's put on our disguise. There we go. Now I look way better. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess I will see you next time for the Everybody Dance Now video. That'll be fun, right? Right? I, I darn well hope so. <laughs> see you later, bye.